Confucianism has been coming through me. I don't make them up, they just come through me. I'm a messenger. N-U-T-S, that stands for never underestimate the spirit. You have to do yoga, or go out on the balcony and fart, or burp. You can do it in the presence of all of us because we're all on the same team. And the word team, T-E-A-M, stands for together everyone achieves more. We made a Buseyism out of it. First, love yourself. That's Luke! That's the new day! As actor Gary Busey's star continued to rise in Hollywood, so does his dangerous behavior. He says in his autobiography, Buseyisms, the addict inside of him was unleashed one night after a man who called himself the devil showed up at his door dressed like a Beverly Hills rodeo clown with a little blue box containing a chunk of cocaine with his initials engraved in the middle. I didn't even know you could do that. Well... Uh, I can't, yeah. but, but that you, was the beginning. Can't. There's a rock about that big. You actually snorted cocaine off your dog? Oh, yeah. How That's do you get what an addict dog? does. So tell me about that. Okay, I came in the house, took off my little windbreaker, flipped it out, and two bindles of cocaine, like in a, a, a wrapper, came out of my coat and hit the floor. My dog, Chili, started rolling. The bindles of the cocaine got all over her. So what do you do? Well, you're an addict, you go snort the dog. <laughs> and that's what I did. But you, you, you don't just get cocaine, you get little fleas and bugs and little things of the hair. It's a potpourri. I, of I had to ask. <laughs> um, you said cocaine became your hero. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, cocaine was my hero. Cocaine was a, uh, my family and my career and everything in my life ran a distant second. Right. Cocaine was here. And uh, I OD'd, finally. I remember the hospital laying on the bed, stretched out like this with a tube in my throat that big, breathing. And I felt liquid come out of my eyes, my nose and my mouth, where they were pumping my stomach. And uh, I got, May the 3rd, 1995 was my last, it was when I OD'd on cocaine. I've been clean for 25 years. Wow. Yeah. You had it at yeah. that point. Two were over. So that was it. Now, after that accident, after your accidental overdose, you were actually facing felony charges. Why? Felony charges? I was? Yeah. <laughs> For drug possession. Well, explain that to me, Lucy. Well, <laughs> you, apparently you had a lot of cocaine when you overdosed. I guess were arrested with enough that it was a felony. Well, I don't think they prosecuted you for it. No, they didn't. But they did that. I had cocaine things in my pocket. Whoa! Don't ever do cocaine. Okay. It will kill you. I am an experienced one in that. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, be better than doing the cocaine is go to Nosberry Farm naked. That's when you can have fun. Yeah. So, did you try that too? <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go? 